Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards and welcome to the home gym. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards and welcome to the garage gym. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards and welcome to the beach. So, as you saw from the beginning of the video, we are going to do this review from three different locations and this is more going to serve also as a setup tutorial for those three different locations here in the home gym, my garage gym, as well as the beach. Wow, I can't wait to get to the beach. So, we're going to use the old box pro we're going to talk about the setup we're going to talk about the cameras including the one i'm using here we're only going to use two cameras but you can use up to four if you wanted to so just a base two camera workout setup I'm going to talk about audio what we're using and also my thoughts on the old box pro as i use it in these three different locations so let's get started i'm going to set it up including like i said this camera here the sony zv1 also my iphone 13 you could plug a webcam in you could really plug in a lot of things but like i said we're going to stick with the two camera shoot that we usually do for all the workout videos here at stevie richards fitness so here's the basic setup at least for here in the home gym and this will be the foundation for a lot of the setup some of the stuff i'm not going to use here in the home gym but I will use in the garage gym as well as the beach. And there's going to be a foundational set of items that we're going to use for everything, including right here, the Olo Box Pro. And you can see right here, it's on a tripod. The reason why I did this is because this will be the setup for the beach. So you get no sand in the inputs or any of the ports or on the old box itself. So it's nice to have this. This even raises up even more. So if my wife is producing the video or the stream, she can use this right on our beach chair and direct and switch the cameras, add overlays, display comments, all that cool stuff. And here we have a think tank bag. I've been using this for about probably 10 years. So the goal is, and this is what I've been trying to do for years, the goal is to have everything converged where mostly everything outside a couple tripods. I even have a tripod that does fit in here, but everything fits in this bag I just carry this, carry a couple tripods in their bag, which aren't too heavy at all. They're all travel tripods. And that is about it. I have an entire production studio in this. And now with the Old Box Pro, I have a streaming production studio as well as a recorded one if I choose not to stream. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to plug this in, go through everything, and then record some test footage here in the home gym on the Old Box Pro. So here we have the Yellow Box Pro. And by the way, we are in monitor mode right now. I'm gonna go back here so you can see when I hit the plus sign, I can create a live stream or I can go into monitor mode, which is basically recording without the internet connection. So you're basically using it like an ATM mini or something like that. It's gonna be a switcher, but there's your screen right there. Now we have no camera sources plugged in right now, but we're about to plug in the Sony ZV-1 using this right here which is a micro to HDMI cable. Now you're gonna be tethered using this method. There are wireless HDMI kits. Uh, the most popular one I've seen is Hollyland. That's the most popular brand. But to have a connection at all, we're gonna just go with this. The cable's pretty decent size, maybe about six or eight feet. But you see the camera comes up pretty quickly. One thing that's really important with the iPhone is you can't use the standard camera app or else you're gonna see all the controls and the overlays with the iPhone. I suggest you use Filmic Pro. This is the app right here, and there's a setting for hardware that is clean HDMI out right there, and we have that set up right there. Now we have the iPhone. Now you can see right here, there's the North Track Vault. Like I said, it's gonna have a little bit of a delay. Let's switch to that camera, and now right there, Looks good. In preview mode on the little box, it looks more laggy, but it's not laggy at all. And this has a bit of a cable, so get up and get a little sloppy video going. I could also walk this a little bit and talk to you while we have this plugged in. So pretty cool right there. So here we have my audio setup. I have the Word Wireless Go 2. I have a small cage here on the ZV-1. You can see the little holes there where I can add stuff. And also you have to have a mic jack on your camera to be able to hook up the Rode Wireless Go 2 or some sort of adapter like with the iPhone to be able to plug this in and get audio uh, from where I have this right here, you can see, sort of, and then get it to that. Now this comes with two microphones, so we have two people working out at the same time talking 
and the audio is all going through there. And then we have the old box pro here and we can go to the audio here and see that what we have here is audio follows video. We're not recording right now, but we want to shut that off because I want everything on HDMI one or I want to go to the mic jack right here, or if I'm doing a podcast through the Rodecaster Pro, I want to go to the line in. So that's very important. This is a pretty simple setup. And you can see here, between these two things and the iPhone, I have a pretty minimal setup. I like doing minimalism. I like uh, embracing it and doing my best with that. That tripod's even very portable. That's a portable tripod. And then we have one right here. So we have essentially a full production studio we're able to do our workouts and produce our content and then hopefully once we're done streaming recording on the Ola box pro it can go right up to youtube or whatever platform we want to put it up on at least that's the hope <laughs> we're going to test it during this video so i'm going to get a little crazy here because sometimes i do fight camp kind of review videos or dribble up or stuff that requires you to see the app and sometimes i have to time it a certain way and then edit it in post. So what I have here, off camera to then bringing on camera, is my iPad Pro right here. So what I'm going to do is say, open up the Fight Camp app. It'll open it up right there. Now, obviously I would need to screen record the iPad Pro so you can see what's going on and I can time it. But with the Yolo Box Pro, basically what I can do is a picture in picture. So I have a USB-C hub right here from Anchor for the iPad Pro. I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug it into HDMI 3. This is trying to eliminate steps afterwards. I'm sure I can edit some stuff, but basically what I'm gonna do is plug this into the HDMI port here. And then this is the M1, uh, which has USB-C, or actually Thunderbolt in it, so I use the Thunderbolt port. And it should come up in the HDMI 3 right here. There it is. So you can see Fight Camp right here. Now I have the app. And I'll go to full screen so you can see. It is now able to capture whatever I'm doing there. Now what I want to do is, let's just say this is where I'm doing the, the workout from with the main camera, with the ZV-1. I'm going to add a video source. And what I'm going to do is picture in picture video. So here, the main screen is going to be me working out. So I'm going to hit that. Next, the sub screen is that. Then when I go there, it's going to show everything I'm doing and I should be able to scale it and do an aspect ratio and then move it around. So let's say it's over there and I can scale it a little bit more because I'll have the, say for example, get that over there. I'll have the bag over here, the punching bag, and I'll be hitting it this way. So I want that there. So I prep that shot, come up there. Now here's my picture in picture, right there. So I'm able to bring that out. And if I wanna do a core workout, I can show you exactly what I'm doing right here and how I'm picking all this stuff. Just right there in, in real time. I could pick that. I can, I can show you the details of what it is. Let's pick another one. Let's go next. Uh, and let's uh, do no music. Just how I, would, how I would go through this. And then we'll take a look and see what that looks like. Now let's go to audio real quick. We got HDMI 1. Now we have HDMI 3. Got some audio there. And I don't have the headphones plugged in. I want to turn that down just a little bit. I'm just guesstimating it right now or what it's gonna be, and there it is. I mean, it's a little rough right now what we're doing, but I'm able to have now, if I'm playing video games or doing something like that, or in this case, doing a workout, you can hear me and you can kind of hear the app going over there, but you can see what's going on right there that I'm able to, in 1080p, 30 frames per second, have both of these built up already without having to uh, do anything. As far as editing afterwards, it's already built in, I don't have to screen record, line it up. It's a pretty uh, efficient way of doing it live and then putting it right up after the stream or even recording it just for YouTube. So here is the PIP video, but I wanna show you another cool one that we can use. See, we can't do picture in picture again, 
but we do side by side or split view. So if I pick split view here, I can pick this one, and then you gotta pick one at a time. So you go through here, here's your B source. So if I'm shooting something and I kinda want you to see what my feet look like as I'm working out. So as I'm hitting the bag over here, I can show you my feet. We don't wear shoes inside unless we're uh, working out on the mat. So we're <laughs> here's a separator position. So I can even just do a quick thing like that. I can do border thickness, make that as thin as possible. Separator direction is pretty cool. And then we can move the thickness and the position over like that. So you can see my feet. Just a nice way to, and you can also center it or not center it, but that gives me another camera angle right here to be able to do this. And you can see me moving my feet around and doing things as we're doing that. And that one on the left would obviously be the main screen. Let's do a side by side. So say right here, next that would be me punching and then this. Now we have a side by side and now we have a background image that we can pick. So I don't have an SD card in there, but you can put an image back there, logos, branding, stuff like that. We can have spacing like that or have it together. And then we have another shot right there. We're just gonna take a look at it full screen. Looks really, really good. I like that a lot too. So take that out of full screen, try split view, and right there. And you can also control everything here. Hit that switcher, you can control it like that, which I think is really clean. Once you have everything you want, that's kind of a good way to go. And you still have access to your audio and other things like score, even scoreboard and things like that. So you have a lot of access and you can see it in full screen what it really looks like. So that's pretty attractive right there. And of course you can always record. I don't have an SD card in there, but you have access even to all your layers in a different thing. I could put a timer up there and have a countdown timer, which is also built in. Usually they sell these things for about 40 bucks on some of these live streaming uh, stores. So that's a cool thing right there to be able to use that. And then I hit it again, I can bring it up. I can also put my logo there. And if I wanted to, I could edit that logo by holding it down and comes right there. And now my scale, my logo can be, whoa, look at that. So we are here at the beach and we're going to test the Olobox Pro setup using the Sony ZV-1 along with the iPhone. Now obviously we have more hazards, we have to be much more careful on the beach. We have sand, we have water, we have rock, we have a ton of stuff. So this may not be ideal but the environment and just it's so beautiful. I've always dreamed to be able to do content, especially fitness content, on the beach and this is a dream come true. So this kind of setup to be able to possibly stream, but definitely record a multi-cam production live and then put it right up on YouTube. It's very, very attractive. But like I said in the first part of this segment, there's a lot of hazards. Sand is not your friend. So we're gonna try to keep that in mind as we do all this stuff and keep everything as dry, sand-free and water-free as possible. But it's gonna be fun, so who knows what'll happen. All right, so we have the Olobox Pro on this little tripod here, and we can even raise it up more, but because of the weight of the Olobox Pro, this is probably as high as it's gonna get. And where we have kind of a station here where my wife would produce the workout videos, or I would try to get this as close as possible, would be stairs. So we wanna have access to the beach without having too much trouble, even though everything is super portable. Looks like a mess right here, but it's super portable, and I was able to carry this over my shoulder and in one hand, we still want to be able to have it as far up off the beach as we can because sometimes these tides can kick in so we have to really time the tides that's another hazard we don't want to come during high tide and have everything wiped out but right now it's about medium tide so it should be pretty cool uh, we also have this other tripod for the iphone uh, but i'm not sure if we're going to put this in the sand i think we're going to do maybe a one camera kind of test with this um, it's just a setup right now. We're not going to do a full workout thing, but I just want to show you the possibilities uh, using the Olobox Pro. Also want to test the screen in the sunlight to see if I can see it in, on this bright sunny day on the beach. Okay, so here we have the Sony ZV-1. You see the waves are getting a little bit closer there. It's on the tripod and it's tethered through that micro HDMI 
to the HDMI here. This is uh, HDMI 1. HDMI 2 is the iPhone, which I'm shooting with Filmic Pro. And even though it looks like there's a lot of reflection right here with the, uh, with the video being recorded on the iPhone, I can see this really well. I can switch cameras pretty easily. And then if we go to full screen, let's see if that helps it a little bit. We're able to really see, but I like actually in this case to be able to see all that stuff and have a timer in the background of the thing right there. That's pretty good. Everything looks good. Now, obviously, if you're going to record stuff on the beach, uh, there's going to be people that are going to show up and people are going to be doing different things. So you want to have something that is uh, pretty secluded or come at a time of the day where you can record the workout without being disturbed. Most times, people are pretty nice. I want to show you the tripod here that we have. Uh, most times, people are pretty nice about it, but you want to make sure you're undisturbed and you get like one take, you're done, and you put it up on YouTube. But this is beautiful right here. This is so beautiful, and we're shooting with the ZV-1, and once again, that's all coming in very, very nicely on this. So, I don't know if we're going to do an audio test here, because obviously the, the, the sound and everything else, I don't have any kind of noise gate or any of those kinds of things, uh, but we'll do some audio tests, some just basic audio tests with the Rode Wireless Go plugged in to the mic jack, maybe from the garage gym or the home gym, but I, I just wanted to come to the beach. Beautiful out here, so amazing. So that is about it, at least for now, because this first video of many videos on the Yellow Box Pro was meant to show you the versatility, the adaptability, the portability of this streaming studio box. So we went from the home gym, skipped the garage gym, because I was just, honestly, I was so excited to just get to the beach, and I figured that location really show the Yolo Box in a different setting, a different environment. But the next video on the Yolo Box Pro will have live and recorded workouts. We know for sure we can live stream right here in the home gym, probably a tempo studio workout. I'm gonna try to make it more than a two camera shoot, but we're gonna at least do that. Also the garage gym, we're gonna try to tether the iPhone with internet, do a flight camp workout from there. And then of course, we're gonna to try to go to the beach, but like I said, there's all these factors that might not make that a timely review video. We might dedicate a video, a workout video on the beach and just have that be the one location. As a matter of fact, that makes it three videos right there. That'll be pretty cool. So please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Click the bell to get notified. These long videos, my God. So the Oil Box Pro, I have a link in the description below. There's lots of great reviews in studio settings and stuff like that. We're trying to be a little bit different here on this YouTube channel and make it more fitness focused with this streaming studio. So please subscribe, like I said, click the bell to get notified, comment below. Let me know what you want me to do with this Yolo Box Pro right here. Most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.